Hello friends, I am Dr. Fahim Qureshi. I am an orthopedic surgeon. But more than that, what really urges me to make this video is that I am a parent too. The increased use of mobile phone in children is making them really vulnerable to the possible hazards. So today we will discuss the possible hazards of mobile phone in children and also we will discuss how to get rid of this addiction in children. Moreover, it is difficult to combine all the side effects together but I have tried, I have made an attempt. So we will see the possible hazards head to toe. Starting from the head, Larson and Tubro has conducted a beautiful study in which they have shown the energy dissipated by a mobile phone on a person where they claim where the most of the energy is lost in the space, a part of it is incident on the human head. After measuring the thermal effects, they have demonstrated a significant heating of the face after using 15 minutes of mobile phone. Whereas in children, younger the child, thinner the skull and more fluid content of brain as compared to adults, which allows deeper penetration of electromagnetic radiation. This picture shows radiation penetration in the head of an adult, 10 year and a 5 years old child, which demonstrates double penetration in a 10 years old child as compared to an adult and still deeper in a 5 years old child. Does that mean our children are more prone to develop tumors as compared to adults, since the electromagnetic radiation are penetrating deeper as compared to adults? There are no declared studies, but the possibility can never be denied. This is another beautiful study, an American study which claims there is 71% suicidal risk in teenagers who spend 5 hours a day on electronic devices as compared to those who use it for an hour a day. Also they recorded reduced sleep in these children. Moreover, 8th graders who are heavy users of social media have a 27% high risk of depression Worst part is 89% of the parents blame themselves for the overuse of mobile by the child. Embarking on the impact on school life, almost 67% children were negatively distracted due to their smartphones and nearly all of them had increased emotional challenges and half of them were addicted to mobile phone. Now let's understand what these statistics really mean. This is a common face which we get to see when you snatch away your mobile from your child while he's playing a game on it or watching a cartoon. The child gets annoyed, agitated, throws objects, falls on ground, runs away or sometimes hits you. In short, he gets carried away with extremes of emotions. Repeated behavior like this can lead to impulse disorder in which the person, if something happens against his will, can go to extremes like injuring himself, injuring others or even he can commit suicide. This is another picture you get to see when the child in spite of multiple attempts fails to convince you to return him the phone. Actually what happens is he fails to accept this rejection leading to a sense of depression. This is a forearm of a child who committed suicide. A similar mark was seen on many children who committed suicide. It was understood that all these children were playing a blue whale game. In this particular game, the participant was motivated to injure himself at different levels of game and to clear the, the final stage, the child had to commit suicide. Many children became prey to it and lost their lives. Also worth mentioning is, children who increasingly use mobile phones get distracted and develop attention deficit disorder. These children get distracted as in the back of the mind they keep on thinking something which they had recently seen on mobile phone and they fail to concentrate and complete a given work. Not only that, these children who are addicted to mobile phones participate less in sport activities and indulge less with their peers. Because of that, not only they develop physical problems, but also they fail to communicate with other children. As a result, they have communication disturbances, behavioral problems as they lack sportsmanship, and they have a limited vocabulary. 
Some children, even because of this, can have delayed language milestones. Now let's talk about eyes. A common problem in all the children who use mobile phones for a long time. That is, red eyes. The eyes are congested, red and tired after watching the mobile for a long, long time. This is seen in children who hold the mobile phone very close to their eyes. They hold the mobile phones for a long time and after their eyes are really fatigued, they rub it really hard to develop red eye. Not only that, these children are more prone to develop refractive errors of eye. Most of the children you will see with big spectacles in front of their eyes. Many countries have reported increased incidence of refractive error as compared to past, mainly myopia. This myopia can also damage the retina, particularly higher myopia, which can not only damage the retina, but also due to increased length of the eyeball can cause cataract. Children who listen to higher frequencies of sound with the earpieces on can have ringing sensations in the ear, earache, and also they can develop hearing loss. As these children tend to sit at one place for longer time, they are more prone to develop obesity and the problems associated with it like diabetes, hypertension, increased cholesterol, increased risk of heart diseases including heart attack. Children who have this bad habit of holding the mobile phone for long time develop pain at this marked area in the upper back. Over a period of time due to this habit, they develop pain in the spine and other spine disorders. Obesity and poor muscle tone predisposes them to develop knee disorders in future. Since their upper extremity is getting exposed to abnormal forces as they are using mobile phone for a long time, they tend to develop elbow problems like tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, wrist pain, also nerve compression at the wrist, pain in small joints of hand and on prolonged usage they can very well develop arthritis of small joints of hand. This is a mobile blast injury. The child was playing game on a mobile while the mobile was charging. Suddenly the mobile blasted and the child developed burns over his face, neck and hand. This is another victim of mobile blast injury where he had serious burns over his face, his eyes and other parts of body. Many such cases might be existing as these injuries often go unnoticed and unreported. To conclude, overusage of mobile is associated with all of these. Increased risk of cancer, impulse disorder, depression, increased suicidal risk, attention deficit disorder, behavioral disorders, red eyes, myopia, cataract, retinal injury, earache, deafness, language problems, obesity, heart disease, hypertension, backache, spine disorders, knee arthritis, tennis elbow, nerve compression at wrist, small joint pain, hand arthritis, burns and mobile blast injuries. Now let's not blame the mobile companies or the service providers for all this as all these are arising because of unsupervised, unprecedented, excessive and improper use of mobile phone. Our innocent children just seek happiness and in the pursuit of it they become prey to so many harmful things which they aren't aware of. It becomes our moral responsibility to protect them not only for their health reasons or other problems but also because they are our future. We need to find new ways to set our children free out of this imprisonment. Soon we'll come with a video on mobile de-addiction in children. Thanks for watching this video.